Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back finally with an update. Um, I've actually been back a little over a week from vacation, and I've just been real busy and just haven't had a chance to really do anything. And i got to say, the shopping this year pretty much sucked. Uh, three out of the five places that I'd like to go were closed down and moved, so... You know, I ended up having to deal with what I could find around there, and then I actually ordered a bunch of stuff and had it, you know, ready for me when I got home, and then also picked up some stuff since I've been home. But uh, this will probably be a two-part video just because I've got so much stuff, and, you know, since I use my phone, i got to <laughs> make it easier on myself. <clears throat> but uh, first thing I got is I finally found Judas Priest Epitaph on Blu-ray. You know, I could have got the DVD because the Best Buy near here always had the DVD, but I really wanted the Blu-ray, and I'm glad I finally found this. Picked up this awesome ghost picture vinyl. That's definitely going to get framed at some point. And then I picked up the latest album from Coffins, The Fleshland, which comes on a uh, two LP set, this awesome purple vinyl. Couldn't find the CD, so I settled for the vinyl. Really looking forward to putting this on and jamming to it. And I did pick up some uh, non-metal stuff while I was gone. I finally broke down and picked up the new ZZ Top, La Futura, which, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I love ZZ Top, but I absolutely hate this packaging. This thin little digi pack crap hate that and I just figured you know they're never going to release an actual jewel case version so I might as well just go ahead and get it and I've actually got another CD that I had to do the same thing with which I'll show you here in a bit and I picked up the Charlie Daniels Band A Decade of Hits which I picked this up mainly because it has a lot of songs that I remember listening to as a kid and I absolutely love so you know for I forget how much I paid for this it wasn't very much I had to get it you know bring back some memories I guess you could say Got the future starts here, the essential doors hits. Boston, self titled, really <laughs> wanted to get this. I you know, I love more than the feeling and peace of mind is also a good song. I just really wanted to hear the rest of it. And got to Big Hoodoo, Crystal Skull, which, you know, I may have mentioned in the past, I like ICP and uh, all the stuff on their label that I've heard so far has been really good. So I heard the single off of this, uh, Hexed, and just you know, really liked it, so I picked it up. <clears throat> and this next stack is actually stuff I got from the Half Price Books from uh, near my sister's house. And the funny thing is, after my coupon that I had and the rest of my uh, gift cards and friends that got me, I only paid $20 for this entire stack. And that's uh, Dragged into Sunlight, Hatred for Mankind. M. Svartner, The Trollish Mirror, which this is actually the first EPs they released. And I remember seeing this a long time ago, all the time in a CD store that I used to frequent, and before they shut down, I never got a chance to uh, pick this up, and I really regretted it, and I found this for $6, brand new, still sealed. Tribute to Merciful Fate. Howl's first album. Oops, wrong side. Full of Hell. Cool cover art. Crimson Moon to Embrace the Vampiric Blood. Uh, enthroned EP, Reggie Satanas, which I guess is a tribute to their drummer who uh, killed himself back in 1997. And Deceased Up the Tombstones Live 2000. So yeah, that'll do it for this first part, and I will see you guys, well, in the next part.